I'm going to do a little uh, a, a short commercial we do once a show for Collapse Net, which is uh, which is a site now that is becoming more popular around the world uh, and much more in demand on a daily basis as events unfold. You can this is uh, my site at www.collapsenet.com, where you find on our world news desk uh, on a daily basis regular updates from around the world, and this is not just run of the mill. This has been described by, and the testimonials are on the website, uh, by many of our readers, some of whom are very influential people around the world in various positions, as the best one-stop place to go every day for news, information, and analysis. We pull and post uh, through our own uh, unique research probably be between 60 and 80 stories a day on the World News Desk, and I make comments on them uh, six, seven days a week. Uh, with only a few rare exceptions. Uh, that's just one of the many benefits you get from membership. We also have an absolutely free lighthouse directory of now more than 900 very specific entries that have to do with immediate issues, whether you want to grow your own food, whether you want to learn first aid, building community locally, um, all kinds of issues that have been recognized by people who have been studying the collapse of human industrial civilization for about a decade. You won't find these listings anywhere. Those are absolutely free. You also find a collapse net now, I think it's over 30 regional blogs, where you get breaking news. We now have, we are upgrading the member submitted news desk to member submitted breaking news so that throughout the course of the day our members and I can post updates and that's proven to be very useful uh, with regard to events in Egypt recently. Uh, and, and we also have a, a proprietary software map that are where our members and, and this is good because recently I was on Facebook and somebody, the, the, the lights were just coming on about the, the collapse of industry excuse me, uh, civilization, and and this woman was terrified, and she said, I don't know anybody, I don't know what to do, and the good thing about being a Collapse Net member is that we locate you on our proprietary software map, and other Collapse Net members around you, without disclosing their names or their addresses, appear immediately, so that if you need help and you're a member, these people are waiting by close by to give you a hand in an emergency. Uh, we're going to be redesigning and streamlining the site uh, to make it much more user-friendly and faster. We know what services you want now. Those are going to become easier to find, and many people are now visiting the site four to five times a day. Uh, membership is $100 a year, 27 cents a day. If you are, however, a, an active member of a transition initiative, there are 77 around the country. You can find them through transitionus.org. Uh, your membership is only $50. It's a 50% discount. Uh, we'll figure out other ways maybe to uh, uh, administratively handle other discounts, but I certainly encourage uh, all Zeitgeist members to check us out because this is where you want to come to find out exactly what's going on, plus all the work we do along with Transition U.S. and all these other wonderful groups who get what's going on. Uh, and we want to share this information as quickly as possible. So you can find us at www.collapsenet.com. And, Peter, you'll be getting a free membership for, oh, well, uh, thank you. <laughs> for, for, for being a guest on the show so you can get your daily intelligence brief like the rest of us. Absolutely. So in a sense, too, as well, when you look at that comparison with Microsoft versus Linux, it's almost in the idea of a system like the monetary system and the idea of a resource-based economy. The potential that a resource-based economy can have that look and feel and do exactly whatever you want. And then some people look in the monetary system and go, huh? Now let's jump right into the questions. Okay, question number one, I'll have to paraphrase this. Uh, it basically asks why I don't make explicit the central management system as being open source and that there's a criticism that there would be no transparency or the programmers are in control. And uh, I know exactly what you're saying because this rhetoric goes back to criticisms of so-called central planning, that it's the assumption that there's this ruling elite that allows everything and engages everything and makes all the decisions. That isn't what the management system is at all. And it is open source, to answer your question, first of all. It's open source. Everyone can interact with it. But humans aren't the evaluative, excuse me, ugh, can't talk today. Humans are not the evaluative mechanism, if that makes any sense. Humans aren't the ones making the decisions. You're interacting with a mechanized system that is technically evaluating all proposals, because we recognize that everything is technical. 
So actually, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go on examples of this because that's not what the question is and I don't have that much time. But yes, it's open source. Everyone can interact with it. And the way it's set up is for maximum technical evaluation and removal of humans as a decision-making entity. Even if programmers went so far to program it with some form of advantage, it would eventually be figured out. It's simple. Either people get on board with the resource-based economy because they realize it's a better, better alternative, we implement it, we have enough resources and enough support to get things going. As time goes on, more and more people are going to be open to these ideas anyway. Not because it's some system where we're excluding people from society who don't agree with it, but because it's a system that recognizes that we're in the 21st century with the ability to produce abundance, with the ability to exchange information across the globe in a second, with the ability to use open source information and technology.